talking about I went at everybody. You know, if they was or not, it was it just, just I had to go. I had to try. I, you know, I, I, I had to. So I was going at it, but you know, Jay was going at it. So Jay Z was dating Aaliyah, right? Yeah, yeah. And he, Jay, probably really liked Aaliyah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't being shysty, grimy. He knew it before I did. <coughs> but you didn't, it was just like friendship. Nah, it just ended up that way. Like it just ended up. We spent time hanging out. Nah, we just had a friend in common. Like it's a story. It's definitely a story. We had a friend in common. It was weird. You know, not weird, but it was just a, a situation where. Aaliyah was the type of girl that would give you a shot. You know what I mean? Like she didn't care what people thought or whatever, so she'll date you, but and, and be your friend. You know what I mean? But it was it, it would be that you you might end up in the friend zone. <laughs> a lot of times that's right. what happened. So you would like she just wasn't. Or at least that was my experience. She what wasn't I saw. open like that. It just wasn't. A, you wasn't going to just hit that. Nah. At least that was my experience. Somebody else may have had a different experience at a different time in my life. But that's why she I experienced it. Caution. Just how it was. Like it wasn't, you know, and we just ended up all hanging out a lot. You know what I'm saying? In the same air place, you know. And we just, uh, it was weird. The story, the story be told, it'll be, uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a deep story. And Dave you said one day they was at a party. I think he said July 28th or whatever it was. It was some party. So Dame said he comes downstairs and he looking at Jay like, yo, I just hit it. I just hit it. He like Jay looking all sick like. Now Jay wasn't the type of to be like, yo, yo, stop trying to hit on her. That's my chick. You know, players, yo, know, do you? You know, but he ain't expecting Aaliyah to give in. But you know, at a party, who knows what kind of shade was on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How do we meet romantically, or how do we meet like at first? Okay. Either okay. both. Well, I first okay. met her like a basketball game, but I wasn't really looking at it like that. She was like, you know. Boy, you know what I mean? Because she had the, the big, the big. She was known at, at one time younger for being a little thuggish looking girl or whatever, but she really acted like somewhat of a, a non urban chick. You know what I mean? Like, She's my business. Just not. Nah, she just was like a white girl. I didn't look at her like that because she was like a tomboy. Yeah. She was little to me. But Dang. then one time, I, uh, she was, uh, I guess we had the same bookkeeper, and I walked past, and the name of the lead was like every time I saw her, she looked different. So she had different looks every time, and I was like, who the fuck is that? And I realized it was Aaliyah, and then I just threw my A-game, and then, you know, I guess Jay was trying to get at her as well, and I didn't know, and then, I was, and then she, like, it got brought up, and I was like, fuck both of y'all. And, but it never worked out for them, and we were both, like, trying to get at her. I, like, kind of eased up, but then we ran into each other. It's a long story. <laughs> so you and Jay was both getting at Aaliyah, obviously. Everybody was getting at her. Everybody was getting at Aaliyah, bro. Right. She was like, she was like, you know, she'll go to dinner with a nigga, but she wasn't gonna just be smashing. Aaliyah was the type of girl that would give you a shot. You know what I mean? Like she didn't care what people thought or whatever, so she'll date you, but and, and be a friend. You know what I mean? But it was, it, it would be that you, you might end up in the friend zone. <laughs> a lot of times that's right. what happened. So you would like, she just wasn't. Or at least that was my experience. She wasn't I saw. open like that. It just wasn't. A, you wasn't gonna just hit that night. Nah. So that was like the big deal. Like who could get with Aaliyah? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. all, but like, was he bitter? Obviously. <laughs> 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 yeah, he felt the way. The true reason <laughs> of Rockefeller's break. But that's everybody knows that shit. I mean, looking back, I think that this is something that could have been avoided. That I don't know that these niggas' business and shit like that, mm -hmm. you dig? But from being around it and, and hearing what's so called the problems and shit mm -hmm. like that, that shit was some simple shit that they could have been been avoided and them niggas could have been the most powerful people to ever grace the, the, the planet when it comes to doing music. From fucking with now, he was sending flowers and doing all the shit that nigga, he was courting her. If you listen to the, the interview, he say, oh, she wasn't, she wasn't Jay's girl, he was courting her. Why am I gonna go and try to pursue her? If he, if you know he's courting her, yeah. then you know, that's dating, nigga. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if, if you go in, and, and Dame said, one day they was at a party, I think he said July 28th or whatever it was, it was some party. So Dame said he comes downstairs and he looking at Jay like, yo, I just hit it. I just hit it. And he like, Jay looking all sick like. Now, Jay wasn't the type of nigga to be like, yo, nigga, Yo, stop trying to hit on her. That's my chick. You know, players, yo, do you? You know, but he ain't expecting Aaliyah to give in. 
But you know, at a party, who knows what kind of shit they was on. So we were both going hard. And we, right. and we ended up in the same house, 4th, 4th of July. So we were, for some reason, this, this day- Wait I a minute, you, Jay, and Aaliyah ended up in the same house? Yeah. That's funny. Uh, so it was like one day it might lean toward him and then it would lean toward me. But I was just, I was just on fire that week. Like I was just, everything, <laughs> everything I was saying was funny. You know what I'm saying? It was like, and I remember coming downstairs, like, you know, it happened. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know this is gonna be hard for me because he was like because he was throwing because you know because like you know his friends were laughing at him the true reason <laughs> of rockefeller's break the true reason <laughs> of rockefeller's break <laughs>